Welcome back everyone to Circle Time. I'm Teacher Brittany with the Home CEO Academy and I have my little toy from earlier this week. Do you remember hearing the sounds of the animals? Let's listen to one more. How about the pig? All right, let's get ready for more information and fun all about our ears. Now let's head over to Lexi for our hello song. Sing along. Hi kids, today I've got my special giraffe ears. And we will be singing a hello song all about ears. Hello, hello, hello everyone. I use my ears to hear you. Hello, hello, hello everyone. You used your ears to hear me. Hello kids, I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye. Let's sing a song together. Have you ever heard, do your ears hang low? If you have, let's get those arms moving and follow along. Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? All right, let's go to the next verse. Do your ears hang high? Do they reach up to the sky? Do they droop when they're wet? Do they stiffen when they're dry? Can you semaphore a neighbor with a minimum of labor? Do your ears hang high? Great job. Thanks for singing with me. Welcome back to our theme board. And once again, we're learning more about our ears and how they help us with not only hearing, but so much more. Let's start off with our first sentence. This one reads, music is a combination of sounds created to please our ears. Do you have a favorite type of music or a song that you love to hear? Your favorite song? My favorite songs are dance songs. I like to get up and move and they always make me feel happier. But there's lots of different type of music that people like. Some slow, some fast, some can make you feel really happy, and some can even make you feel sad. But it is always nice to listen to your favorite song. Our next sentence reads, those who cannot hear can use their hands to communicate with sign language. Have you ever met anyone that was hard of hearing or completely deaf where they couldn't hear? Well, you wouldn't be able to have a conversation like you and I have because they wouldn't be able to hear what you're saying. That is why we use sign language. So we can communicate or talk with our hands to explain how we're feeling. This is the beginning of the sign language alphabet. Would you like to go ahead and practice with me? Okay, let's start off with A. So that's our letter A. Then we have B, C, and D. And there's the whole alphabet with different hand motions. You can always learn more about sign language by reading books or even finding information online. I hope this was helpful to you and I hope you had fun. Now over to the desk with teacher Mariah for your wake up warm ups. Wake up warm up. Today we're going to look at some instruments flashcards, acoustic guitar, bells, bongo drums, castanets, Symbols, drum kit, electric guitar, finger symbols, flute, French horn, guido, harp, 
maracas, piano, rhythm sticks, saxophone, tambourine, tone block, triangle, trombone, trumpet, tuba, violin, and xylophone. Now, for extra challenge, you can go back and mute me and just see if you can name these instruments as you see the pictures. Great job. Wake up warm up. Today we're going to use our ears to do some counting. Do you know that words can be separated into parts and those parts are called syllables. And each time you say a word, you can hear the different parts of the word. For example, if we look at this picture, this is a rabbit. When you say the word rabbit, you hear two syllables or two parts to that word. So what we're gonna do today, guys, is we're gonna take a look at some different words and then I want, I'm gonna say it and I want you to tell me how many syllables you hear. So you're gonna use your super hearing and your awesome ears to count out the syllables in the words. Let's start with this one. This is cat. Cat. How many syllables do you hear in the word cat? If you said one, you are spot on. It was one. Good job. Let's do some more. How about the word, hmm, how about this one? Turtle, turtle. How many syllables do you hear? It's two syllables, that's correct. What about kangaroo? Let's listen carefully. Kangaroo, kangaroo. That sounds like three syllables. What about snake? Snake. It's got a lot of letters in it, but it's just one syllable. Snake. How about fish? How many sounds in parts do you hear? Fish, there are actually more sounds, but how many parts of the word do you hear? Fish, just one syllable is in the word fish. Let's try this one. Armadillo, armadillo. That's a long word, so let's just sound it out really slow. Armadillo. Let's count it out. Armadillo. That's four. That's a four syllable word. Now what you can you do today or this week is keep looking at some of these cards and count the syllables. And these are also in your curriculum library. And you can also just listen to the words you hear in everyday life or even in your name. Count how many syllables are in your name and just listen and count for syllables this week. Wonderful job. Excellent work today with your wake-up warm-ups. Now let's cozy up for story time with teacher Ashley. Today's book is The Listening Walk by Paul Showers, illustrated by Aliki. I like to take walks. I take walks with my father and our dog. Our dog is called Major. He is an old dog and he does not walk very fast. We go down the street and we do not talk. My father puts his hands in his pockets and thinks. Major walks ahead and sniffs. I keep still and listen. I call this a listening walk. On a listening walk, I do not talk. I listen to all the different sounds. I hear many different sounds when I do not talk. First, I hear Major's toenails on the sidewalk. Major has long toenails. 
When he walks, his toenails scratch the sidewalk. They go twick, 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 twick. I hear my father's shoes on the sidewalk. My father walks slowly and his shoes go dup, 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 dup. I can't hear my shoes. I wear sneakers. I hear all sorts of sounds on a listening walk. I listen to sounds I never listened to before. I listen to lawn mowers. Lawn mowers are noisy. A lawn mower makes a steady zooming noise. It goes like this. Zoom. I like to take I like to listen to lawn sprinklers. Lawn sprinklers are very quiet. They make different sounds. Some sprinklers make a steady whispering sound, like this. Other sprinklers turn around and around. They go like this. Whis, 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 whis. On a listening walk, I hear cars on the street. The shiny new cars are quiet. They make only a soft hmm. But old cars are very noisy. Old ca cars sound like this. Bracka, 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 bracka. When cars go around the corner too fast, the tires go whirr. When cars stop quickly, the brakes go ee. He had to stop too quickly so he wouldn't hit the cat. On a listening walk, I hear all kinds of sounds. A bicycle bell ringing, tring, tring. A baby crying, wah, oh, wah, oh, wah, oh, wah. A jet flies over. Jets are very noisy when they're overhead. A jet goes, yow. A boy runs by dribbling his basketball. Bump, 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 bump. A lady hurries by us. She is wearing high heels. The lady's high heels go, big buck, big buck, big buck. A bus is coming. The lady starts to run, big, 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 big. The bus stops at the corner. Psst. The lady gets on. The bus starts up again. Crawl. Around the corner, men are digging up the street. They are using a jackhammer. It makes a loud banging sound. Duck, 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 duck. The jackhammer hurts my ears. I put my hands over my ears as we walk by. Sometimes my father and I take Major to the park. It is quiet there. The sounds in the park are not loud like the noises in the street. My father and I walk down a shady path. I do not talk. I listen. I listen to my father's shoes on the path. They make a soft sound. They go chuff, 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 chuff. I listen to the birds in the park. I listen to the pigeons and the ducks. The pigeons fly down to meet us. They want us to feed them. The pigeons puff up their feathers. They take tiny little steps. They come toward us, nodding their heads. They say, Pru, 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 Pru. At the pond, the ducks are waiting. They want us to feed them too. The small ducks swim up close. They turn their heads on one side and look up at us. The small ducks waggle their tails and quack. They say, Gank, gank, wonk, wonk. The big ducks are not so brave. They stay back and swim around in circles. The big ducks look at us, but they do not come close. The big ducks say, Gank, gank, gank. Sometimes I hear a woodpecker in the park. The woodpecker sounds like a little hammer. He goes, In the park, I hear crickets in the grass. The crickets go, creep, creep, creep. I hear the wind in the leaves. It whispers, shh. 
I hear bees in the flowers. Bzzz. It is fun to go on a listening walk. You do not have to go far. You can walk around the block and listen. You can walk around your yard and listen. You do not even have to take a walk to hear sounds. There are sounds everywhere all the time. All you have to do is keep still and listen to them. Right now, there are sounds you can hear. When you finish this page, close the book and listen. How many different sounds can you hear right now? Close your book and count them. I hope you enjoyed The Listening Walk by Paul Showers. Friends, thank you for joining me at my work table. Now remember, all activities we do at the work table need to be completed with teacher or caregiver support. Today we're going to create the letter T turkey directed drawing. We have our letter T here and we have four steps to follow. So let's get started. Step one, what's different about the letter T? I see two eyes. So we have two big circles with two little circles that are colored in. So let's see, they're about here. One, two, and then we have a circle here that's colored in, maybe more of an oval, and a circle here that's colored in. What's next? Let's look at step two, what's different? I see a beak and a wattle coming down. So our beak looks kind of like a triangle, but it's kind of more curved. So come down like that. And then the wattle comes off of that and it looks like kind of a curved line. Then we come back up like that. Just do your best. That's kind of a tricky one. Okay, and let's look at step three here. What's different? I see three feathers, one, two, three. We'll start with the one in the middle first since it's in the front. So we're gonna go kind of like an oval shape. Just do your best here. Okay, and then we have one coming off of each side. So one that goes like that, and then another one like that. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Same thing. So just do your best. These are kind of tricky. Even I have a little bit of trouble with them, but that's okay. Okay. When you're done drawing your turkey, you can color in your feathers. It looks like we need orange, yellow, and red on each side. And then we have a brown turkey with a light brown beak and a red wattle. So that's our directed drawing. Let's look at two activities we can do this week. First one is called animal sounds. We have one, two, three, four, five animals. And on this side, we have the sounds they make. We have woof, ribbit, meow, hoot, hoot, chirp. I didn't do that one very well, but that's his chirp. And you're going to look at the animal and match it with a line to the sound it makes. So if I say a cat says ribbit, is that right? No. What sound does a cat make? A cat says Meow. So I would draw a line from the cat to the word meow. And the same with each of the remaining animals. And our last activity is called number maze. It says help Jason find his stereo by coloring in all the squares with the number 13. This is what 13 looks like through the number maze. So we'd say, hmm, here's Jason. Are there any 13s near him? I see one right there. So I'd color it in. And then I'd say, are there any more 13s near that? Here's one, and here's another one. And once I've colored in all the 13s, it should lead me on a path to get Jason to his stereo. Okay, that was our number maze. 
the animal sounds, and the letter T turkey directed drawing. I hope you enjoy completing these activities. Hi friends, today we are going to take a look at some fun activities you'll get to do this week. My mom added my name to these pages and your teacher or caregiver can add your name to yours. Here's the first worksheet I did. It says, I know my home address. And then it'll say, my name is, and you'll get to trace your name. And the next one says, my street address is, and you'll have your street address there. And it says, my city and state are, and you'll have that there, and you'll get to trace each one. The second worksheet I did is called, I know my phone number. And it'll have your name again, and you'll get to trace it. And it says, my phone number is, and you'll trace your phone number. And then it'll say, practice writing your phone number on your own, and you'll get to write it on your own. So you'll practice what's up here. I hope you enjoy completing these activities. All right, friends, it's that time of the day to say goodbye. I hope you had fun. Remember, when you go out to do your activities, to have fun with them. Make them all yours and original. And we'd love to see your work. But for now, we say goodbye. From teacher Brittany and everyone here from the Home CEO Academy, have a wonderful day. Until next time. Hey, you could be larger than life, bigger than the world, living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl. Hey, you could fly higher than the sky, shine brighter than the stars. You could have all you ever wanted, shoot the moon and reach for Mars. You know you could.